10 reasons why I love Zari and Emily. Number one, they make me good arts and crafts. They are beautiful. They have great slippers. They are very lovable. They come to visit me every Sunday. They are bonding. They are cute. They are funny. They are great. They are spectacular. Thank you, Thank Josh. You. It's been a long time since we were teenagers, but uh, you know, when you think about all of the other things they have going on, you know, they have school, they have sports and other extracurricular activities. And, you know, I think back to, to when I was growing up and I'm not sure that I would have had the maturity to do something like this. I had a very easy pregnancy. I had a relatively easy delivery. It's tough to see me cry. And I would say that was, uh, such an emotional time for me, uh, you know, holding him for the first time. He was really just a joy. He was such an easy baby. When he was probably around a year and a half to two years old, uh, his language wasn't really developing the way it should, and even physically he was a little bit behind. So we pursued some, you know, different testing and, and saw a variety of doctors, and by three he was diagnosed. Of course, as a parent, there's always concerns of, is my son going to be okay? She was just so beautiful and perfect, and I also felt overwhelmed because I thought, oh my goodness, when I take her home, what am I going to do with her, you know? <laughs> it was January 19th, and I went to pick her up from nursery school, and one of the moms was standing there, and I said, what's the matter? And she was like, oh, one of the kids is having a seizure. And I was like, oh my God, that's awful. And she didn't know how to tell me that it was my daughter. We've done all this testing and he said, the only thing that I can figure out that I can see here is that your daughter has celiac disease. And he said, I can't believe it because typically kids with celiac fail to thrive. Our older son Eric was actually diagnosed uh, what was called PDD-NOS which is Pervasive Developmental Disorder, NOS, so he was diagnosed on the autistic spectrum. But his brother, Adam, was born in 2008 here at the Jersey Shore, and we were very vigilant about Adam's development. It is challenging. I have to basically factor in his uh, abilities with all of our decisions, uh, what he can tolerate, what he can't tolerate, bring him out of his shell, and um, show him typical things, uh, just teach him in a different way that I'm, I'm not really used to. You know, inevitably, children look at each other and compare themselves, and a lot of kids will look at Victoria and figure out there's something not quite right, and, you know, they'll wander off and go and play with somebody else. And that's, you know, difficult to see as a parent, it would be easy for me to stay in bed and pull the covers over my head and cry all day, but I can't do that. I have to get up. It's just tough, I guess, comparing to other typical children. And I guess we, we've stopped doing that because Adam is Adam. Kids with uh, autism do have a lot of social difficulties and they're always hanging out with adults, whether it be therapy or whatnot. So let's try and get somebody who just wants to come here and play. He can't be playing with his mom and dad all the time, so it's nice to have some younger kids who, are, who just want to do whatever he wants to do. Hand in Hand is a wonderful program, and it gave him something to do, something athletic or arts and crafts or something to, you know, keep him stimulated, but it also gave us a bit of a break, too, as parents. It's been two wonderful years now, and Adam's been very happy. We've been ecstatic with the program. It's been a wonderful, it's been a wonderful, amazing experience. In fact, Victoria stands at the window and she's like, when are they coming? Are they coming soon? When are they coming? What are we gonna do? When are they coming? When are they coming? They like to do chalk and sing and dance. We like to go outside and draw on the street and ride bikes. You wouldn't have as much interaction with, you know, people like Katie and Clara if it wasn't for this program. Being with, you know, being with Sari and Emily and 
and just seeing his interaction with them, his interaction with classmates. I mean, at school, the teachers and have said, I mean, kids gravitate to him. I thought it was a really amazing thing to be able to go and play with a little boy who didn't really have as many friends. Joshua is just so capable and he does so many things. Even like when we're playing games, he beats me half the time. Just really great and it makes me be a better person and strive to be as good a person as Adam is and he will be. They just focus so much on the kids. You feel how much they care. It helps me as much as it helps Adam. We can make a difference in the lives of so many special children. And tonight is really about what the volunteers do every day. They give their time, they give of themselves to enhance the lives of these special children. I mean, they do it from their heart.